Aquarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. Let's get into this reading here. Let's tune into your symbol and independence. Aquarius, what's going on with you guys? What's going on with the Aquarius? Ooh, defensive here. Your guards are up when it comes to your love life, ladies and gents. Somebody here seems to be coming at you, or you could be coming at somebody, and it seems as if there's some sort of friction between you and somebody. I feel that both of you guys want to work this out, all right? You guys are compelled to get over whatever it is that is burdening you. However, this is not going to be an easy endeavor. Just major disappointment, a lack of contentment with the situation here, Aquarius, all right? You could be disappointed, sad regarding what has happened, all right? Trying to be optimistic, trying to find, you know, optimism, but just choosing to refrain from giving too much into the situation because of the burden here that is that is standing between you and somebody. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, absolutely. So you guys could be stressed out, experiencing a separation from this person. Even if it's not a permanent breakup, there's most certainly a separation here with the death. All right, separation and just this daunting energy. <clears throat> daunting energy here. <clears throat> Tell me more. King of Coins. Well, at least there's an element of seriousness. Somebody here has, does is level-headed, all right? Or they do have an element of maturity when it comes to dealing with relationships. Yet, it seems that whatever problem they got is fucking out of hand. So, what's going on here? You guys could actually be mirroring one another, all right? To a degree here with the King and Queen of Pentacles. You guys have the potential. So this is like one of those relationships that can be really intense. When it's really good, it's good. When it's bad, it's fucking bad. And it seems that you guys could have a power struggle here, Aquarius. <clears throat> Why the Five of Wands? The Page of Coins. So you're trying to mend. Somebody here is definitely trying to, you know, see eye to eye with the other individual and is taking a proactive approach. Taking a proactive approach to fix this saying the right words, or at least attempting to say the right words. However, they're still holding back. Yeah, whomever it is that's taking initiative to make this better is holding back. They're holding back. So they're not giving all, they're not putting all their effort. Ooh, and this could be a bit vexing, ladies and gents. <clears throat> this could be a bit bothersome. You could feel undervalued. I mean, whomever it is that's receiving this, I feel is even withdrawing further. Again, I want to go back to this mirroring energy. It's like this king of coins is not giving what he can actually give. He's holding back. But then I look at the receiver's energy, the queen of wands, which could be you. And you are, this individual's held back. The high priestess is like, both of you guys are hiding what you can actually be giving to the relationship. It could be one of those situations where there's damage that's been inflicted and now both of you guys are weary about getting hurt. And although you want to come together, you're both kind of walking on eggshells when it comes to the situation. <clears throat> Let's see. What's going on with, with, the, with you, Aquarius? What's going on with you? What's, what's your energy in this predicament? What is Aquarius's energy in this situation? <clears throat> Aquario, what's going on? Oh shit, ladies and gents, we got a technical difficulty here. I am fumbling, Butterfinger. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. What's what is Aquarius's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? All right, reciprocity. Well, this could be one or two ways I'm reading. There's a there's like I said mirroring right whatever being given to you is what you are are you are giving, but nevertheless there seems to be a sufficient amount of energy of will of fortitude of desire of even a proactive approach to making something good happen. <clears throat> Tell me more about Aquarius's energy. Wow, interesting. Guys, some of you may be very intuitive, very psychic even, all right? Very psychic, very intuitive. Even if you're not, you, you seem to be unraveling or tapping into your intuition or just a different form of thinking here. You're, I'm not tapping into some conventional Aquarius, all right? So if you're a, an Aquarius here that just 
isn't really in tune with yourself, I'm not really picking that up. But let me tell you what I'm also picking up here. Some fucking atrocious energy as well. Yet, yeah, you're working through this, Aquarius. <clears throat> From the 10 to the 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1, right? 10 of swords to the ace. So you're definitely moving towards a new beginning. And we got the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're definitely moving towards a new beginning, all right? You are, you're definitely taking this amazing approach. I feel that you're being the bigger, you're being a big person. I'm not saying you're being the bigger person, but you're being a big person here. You're, you're putting on your big girl pants, your big boy pants, and <laughs> you're, you're moving towards this in a very effective, logical way, which seems promising, which seems promising. Now, let's look at whomever it is that you're dealing with. Who is Aquarius dealing with? What is their energy? Fuck, the Five of Swords. Well, this individual is in a pickle, to say the least. They are daunted. They're healing, ladies and gents. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, the most certainly fucking cried, right? This individual experienced loss. They, they experienced sadness, depression here. They're still feeling this way. <clears throat> They're still feeling this way. They're... Who you're dealing with is not as strong as you. Or maybe they just lack the wisdom on how to navigate negative feelings, okay? That's what I'm getting the sense of because you are appearing powerful, even though you're hurt. Even though you're hurt, you're appearing powerful, you're being proactive, you're being positive, you're being reciprocal and open. Open, that's what I'm seeing here. You're in tune with your masculine and your feminine energy, Aquarius. Your person on the other hand seems like an emotional wreck. <clears throat> tell me, tell me, tell me. Wow, well, that makes sense. Possibly because they're a water sign. Or possibly because they're just exuding a, a tremendous amount of feelings here. They got feelings for you, I'll tell you that. That is certain. I'm getting a lot of cancerian energy here. But even if it's not a cancer, this individual seems to be wearing their heart on their sleeve at this time. Even if they're not revealing it to you, they're definitely... You, they may not be revealing it to you because it looks like they're spying on you. So this is indicative of being at a distance. You guys may not be in cahoots. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds appropriate. You guys are not in cahoots with one another. <laughs> I gotta look that up. It's the second time. I've never used that word in my life. I've only used it in two videos. One last week and one this week. <laughs> Anyways, you guys aren't... Yeah, you guys aren't synced. I don't feel that there's a connection here. I don't feel, I feel that there's distance between you and this individual. <clears throat> but this individual wants to come for us. Tell me more about this individual here. I got to quench. Yeah, they're making a decision here. They don't got all their ducks lined up. All right. They're, they're being pulled left and right by their emotions. They want to, they want to, they want to come forward here, ladies and gents. They want to come forward and communicate with you, but they're just, they're lacking the clarity at this time. They're lacking the clarity. They want something serious with you, but they, they can't even see that right now due to the amount of emotional turbulence that they're experiencing. Well, Aquarius, I'm gonna get some words of wisdom for you and then I'm gonna take this to the extended and continue to unravel this individual that you're dealing with. I'm gonna be looking into their actions. I'm gonna be looking into this individual's intentions and their feelings towards you as well as the near future of the relationship. But any words of wisdom for the Aquarians that are tuning in regarding the situation? Ooh, Aquarius, the devil energy. Mind, all right, guys, I think I did a reading for the collective. And I, I think I, was, I told Aquarius that, hey, guys, you might want to reassess why you're actually drawn to this relationship. Is it, is it genuine or is it for superficial reasons? All right, because it's not authentic. You may say, you know what, I definitely want to give this, this a chance and, you know, I want to see where this goes, but it's not authentic. No, there's a lot of holding back, possibly because of fear of getting hurt. All right. But there's a lot of energy being refrained from ex being expressed. All right. So there's just a lot that's being hindered. There's a lot of blockage here due to a lot of negativity is what I'm seeing with the devil and the three of swords, ladies and gents. <sighs> Reassessing the situation. You need to get out of your own head here. I know you're being positive here, Aquarius. I know you're trying to do the right thing, but there's still work to be done. All right. Understand that whatever burden you're carrying here regarding the situation is definitely not going to build the type of relationship that you actually want. 
So you may want to look within yourself, all right? Self-analyze and look at what sort of toxic attachments you may actually be projecting. Because in this current phase of this situation, there's a deep revelation, there's a deep lesson for you to learn regarding something that you are holding on to and possibly shrouding and bearing deep within you, which you could unconsciously be projecting onto this relationship. I hope that makes sense. If, if it's for you, it's for you, it makes sense, all right? Anyways, ladies and gents, self-analysis, understanding yourself. Understanding yourself is a key component to removing the blockages. I just did an exposition on my Patreon, which is my exclusive site, ladies and gents, if you guys are interested. And I'm beginning a series of, of basically deconstructing a ritual which will allow you to manifest all sorts of things, including banishing, banishing negative influences such as your shadows, okay? Negative characteristics or traumatic attachments, or even releasing an X. If you feel that you can benefit from this sort of occult knowledge and you're curious about delving into tapping or rather embodying your higher self in order to go into deeper states of consciousness to have change or have an effect on your physical reality, I invite you to check out that Patreon. It's gonna be linked below on our exclusive site, all right? exclusive content I believe but anyways I'm taking this to the extended ladies and gents and I'm going to continue to expand on whomever it is that you're dealing with so let's see what is going on with this person if you're curious the link to the extended will also be in the description otherwise of course I'll see you guys in another video